This is my take on The Revenant. First, I have to give them credit, uh, the best named movie ever. Uh, not because the name is awesome, but the name is so appropriate. It's one who returns, like from the dead, like a ghost. That's what happens in the movie. I have to c confess to a bias immediately, same director as Birdman, Alejandro Inaritu. And I hated Birdman. Uh, the guy is too artsy fartsy for my taste. I hate that surrealism thing. Is he flying? Is he not flying? I don't know. Half the story is real, half the story is bullshit. Not into it, right? So I'm a little biased against the director, but a lot of people told me it was really good, people that I trust. So I went and saw it, tried to keep an open mind. And overall, I liked it. In the end, I'm going to give a pretty good uh, rating to it. But nonetheless, I'm going to tell you all the things I didn't like it. <laughs> it's too long. Every movie's three hours now. Honestly, you're boring me, man. I don't want the slapstick. I don't want to, you know, Ben thinks 90 minute movies are perfect. I don't know. Sometimes they're a little short. Two hours? Yeah, great. You want to go two hours, 15 minutes? Let's have fun. Develop the story for me. But everybody's self indulgent now because, oh, any great director, what do they do? They make every scene last five and a half minutes. There's the landscape. There's still the landscape. To the fucking point. All right. Then why is he hiding in the horse? <laughs> like I still don't know why he hid in the horse. It was really cool that he hid in the horse. But they never really explained it. The guys must have assumed that he was dead if he fell off the cliff. If they, but they never came by and looked. Why did he take his clothes off? Ah. Okay. So I get frustrated. The unclear endings. I'm done with them. I'm. I'm done with it. Tell me a story. It, if somebody's telling you a story around a campfire and at the end they go. And then it ends without you knowing what happened. Well, that's kind of a bummer, dude. This guy's a shitty storyteller. But if a fancy director does it, like, ooh, it could, it could go this way or it could go that way. That's so artistic. And again, to be fair, I saw too much of it in the previews. So if I hadn't seen all the trailers, that the horse, the bear, all that stuff would have been cooler. If the problem is I knew it was coming. To be fair to the movie, and I don't want people to get me wrong, I hate action movies. So the whole like, oh yeah, that car chase, oh, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Wow, I never saw that movie uh, before except 87 movies I just saw that had the car driving on the wrong side of the road. So I don't want an empty bullshit movie like that. I also don't want something to drag out for three hours as I continue to look at fucking nothing but landscape. Let's meet in the middle. Let's meet in the middle. Let's tell a real story and let's have it be cool and substantive and thoughtful without dragging it out. Don't get me wrong. I like any story about willpower. So Leonardo DiCaprio, he going to go get the son bitch and it uh, it is beautifully shot. That wasn't lost on me. Uh, there was a lot of cool parts of the story. The bear attack is amazing. So at the end of the day, I'm going to keep it at a 7.0. It's a good movie. You'll enjoy it. Just I I wish he tightened it up a little bit and wasn't so self-indulgent. So it's not in my opinion not a great movie, but a solid movie, 7.0. That's my take.